Ciao bella. Asta, 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 curva. Ciao. Climber, baba. Asta, curva. I'm not quite optimistic right now. Pasta bolognese. Food with a view. Everybody's there. When it doesn't work. Oh shit. Oh, it's a bit rough, but it's working. I got the water. Hi guys, let me tell you about my first solo Volbiv adventure, uh, which was the first one of this kind. And um, the point was not really the flying itself, of course it was, but uh, it was more of how I feel myself in the wild, alone, finding a water, actually water supply was, was a very important question, of course, which is always, what, how can I make good decisions uh, in terms of flying, in terms of uh, uh, food? What is it like to be in the mountains for a couple of days, to overcome all your fears, uh, to to choose the, the perfect camping spot, to choose the weather which is suitable for flying actually, which is suitable for you to fly. And how can I deal with the situation that I am basically in a completely unknown territory. Uh, when I was young I was there several times during the winter for skiing, but it's, you know, it's a totally different aspect. Uh, and uh, so basically the mountains are unknown for me, of course, I was studying the wallowing system and the local microclimate before, but you know, theory and practice are two different things. When you fly with friends, uh, it's uh, uh, mentally different actually. So that's why I was curious, uh, what is it like to be alone in the wild? And it was completely worth it. I will sleep in a parking lot and tomorrow I will go up to the mountain from that point. I will leave the car there and my world of adventure begins. So let's get started. Buongiorno, bella monte. My tent, my sleeping bag, and my sleeping mat is actually all inside my harness, and my protector is taken out. And instead, that these kind of things are inside. <laughs> And the harness is ready. Um, three pieces of main food, this adventure food stuff. Three and a half um, for breakfast, then three soups and tons of energy gels and chocolates. Two gas cans, electrical devices, now in spot. 
uh, GoPro charger, power bank, a solar panel and a GoPro as well. I started off from around 1500 meters, now I'm at 1700, so I already gained 200 meters. And my plan is actually to go up there above 2000 meters. This ridge has a south facing slope and a north facing slope. And this prognosed to be a light northern fern. So I'm going to climb up until the ridge and see what the situation is on the northern side as well. It's raining on me. Shade all over here and it's spreading westwards exactly that direction where I want to head towards Valdifassa. But <laughs> not quite optimistic right now. <laughs> Okay, so I landed somewhere in the Fassa Valley, uh, not too far from my original launch place. But to be honest, I was afraid of dead clouds, which are basically shower clouds, so it, they are not yet uh, cumulonimbus, but I don't really want to be in the air when it gets harder. The slope is going downwards at that direction, and I landed hill up because the flow is coming from from the ridge and the volley wind over there spills upon it I guess and that's why it just overflows this ridge and it results in um, catabatic wind actually. Uh, it was a mixture of those volley wind, this volley wind and the thermals and the cloud sack as well so I decided to land here. I had to be very uh, cautious by landing uh, and it was very rough but I wanted to land as high as possible because then I have to walk less uphill. Up there on the mountain there is a very steep red rock stuff there. Above it I saw from the air it could be a very perfect southeast facing uh, launching spot for tomorrow if the weather allows it as well. But tomorrow will be a bit better so let's find a place where I can pitch my tent. So we have a perfect place for the tent. It faces eastwards, so it will dry out quickly in the morning. We have also creek over there. So this bottle of water is basically from there for cooking. Pasta mm. bolognese. This was actually the most peaceful night in my life in this tent. The sun is up and I will show you. completely wet tent from the view and the dolomites and the rising sun. Lovely. Cloud 
clouds have already started to develop all over the eastern faces of the Dolomites and up here as well so I have to hurry actually so I'm, uh, I'm on my way again that means something in terms of the lability if the clouds are so well developed at nine o'clock because it's nine o'clock so I try to start as soon as I can and probably I will end up in the Wally but we will see exactly we are at 2074 altitude and in this beautiful pine forest my little sweetheart <laughs> hi Give me some milk, please. I'm thirsty. Okay, then not. So, this path might be a perfect lounge area. It's facing south eastward. Uh, clouds are pretty amazing even though it's 10 15 it's already dark there so i will launch somewhere from here Okay. Oh my god, everything is wet here. So, uh, it was a very exhausting flight actually. It was not long. I came from there, a couple of mountains away, but it was basically enough and it's still before noon. But the cloudiness is very dense and it started to rain on me. I will try to dry out everything. It's falling ice, hey. <laughs> you don't look too frustrated. <laughs> Just relax with this view. <laughs> so, while my tent is drying, let me share you guys a couple of thoughts about this Volbis thing with Volbis flying. This is my third day in a row, so I'm a bit um, uh, tired. All I want now is a bit of peace. You really need to pack all your day. And you pack, you pack, you pack, you always just pack your stuff. You pack your stuff in, you pack your stuff out. And it's very, very exhausting actually. Uh, plus you hike up with your 20 plus kilo gear up the, up the mountain. Uh, then you pack 
out your stuff, you arrange things so that it can fit to the harness and to every bucket you have. This kind of wobby flying needs a lot of consideration uh, and normally I would launch from here because now the weather is good if you don't have so much stuff that you can that you can uh, get got fed in the rain but it's no problem because you land in a wally and you go back to your uh, to your hotel or to your camping or whatever you drag everything out and tomorrow you come up and that's it and you uh, carry all your necessary stuff for that flying that's basically nothing maybe just one snacks and a little water I, but now I have to I have to pack a lot and I hate it my aim is actually to reduce my number of packings to the minimum um, and that's why I won't start now so yeah a uh, little bit of chill out and we will see tomorrow so what do you think guys is this the perfect spot for the night or is this the perfect spot for tonight? I think this is the perfect spot. You can lay here your sleeping bag and it's facing eastwards. No problem, real pilak style. Let's see what do we have in store. Mashed potatoes with minced meat. This will be my dinner in this beautiful place. Well, good morning. So it's half past seven. So the sun is up uh, for an hour now, but actually there is uh, Sespordoy and Pizboy, the two three thousander, and the sun is just now getting over it and sprays its rays on me so now i feel better there was a gentle breeze all night so it wasn't cold but sunlight during the morning when you're tired is always is always very good so let's get this day started it's tea time my stuff is drying out Soon I pack myself up and go to the lunch place, which is about half an hour walk from here, so it's not far. Bye bye, sweet little bivouac spot. I'm going hiking up there to Corridella. This is the only southeast facing slope in the nearby uh, that I can use for today because today my plan is to fly that way back because uh, it's prognosed as well today that um, the cloud basis um, uh, will be not high enough, so around 2900 meters. And my only option would be today to go among the three thousanders like Marmolada and so on. But the weather won't be that good today. Basically, the weather is very strong. At least it was very strong yesterday and the day before yesterday. Uh, so it starts very early and, and it ends very early as well. So you can, you can make some flights in the afternoon as well, but it's really exhausting. <laughs> on the one hand and on the other hand there are tons of uh, well-developed uh, cumulus clouds and there are often showers and I don't feel safe and comfortable flying in a shower actually that really restricts my options actually so that's why I am going once again that direction uh, where I came from yesterday 
and I try to fly back to my car and if the weather is still good then maybe a little bit further but we will see And you know, it's Dolomites, so there are very, very tricky valley wind conditions. Uh, and well, at one time it can blow from the east, at the other time from the west. One time there are absolutely no valley wind, even though the weather uh, would suggest that there will be. On the other time, there is a very strong valley wind coming from the opposite direction that you are waiting for. Uh, and if you get under certain altitude, actually, then you get hit by the water wind itself and of course uh, together with the bare rock faces uh, generated uh, thermals uh, this can be very very uh, rough and it will shake your ass out of your harness which obviously not the best thing you are waiting for in the air when you're flying in such a beautiful environment but it's not a surprise definitely I guess now I hike up to the mountain uh, and I search somewhere to place where I can uh, uh, spend the night and tomorrow I just glide down and that's it. So on the way again going up and find a beautiful spot for the tent and if I find it then I think I will go for a short hike without all my backpack and then search some water these are the tasks for today okay so after about six minutes of walk i found the perfect spot over there which has a view at that direction and on the opposite side as well accidentally there's a windsock over there so this is a perfect place you can pitch your tent and tomorrow you can start right here from the door of your tent Lovely! Wow!
not that bad, isn't it? It's chocolate oat. Very tasty. It looks really disgusting, but at least it has some nutrition power, hopefully. Okay, so let's see how much water do we have from the dew trap. The dew condensed on the surface of it. And at the end, I have some additional water what I really need. This water is completely from the atmosphere. Thank you very much. Wow. It tastes like rain, but no surprise. Now I'm drying up my stuff and then I'm walking around 30 meters or something like this to that point from where I would take off. How cool is that? Hi sweetheart, do you want to fly with me? I don't think so. Okay, I want to be very gentle with you, but please. Book. So there is my car over there in that car park um, and my attitude is theoretically enough even if I don't get any lift but I'm, I'm a bit nervous and frustrated to be honest actually the wind is blowing now it's quite okay because it's blowing uh, parallel to the ridge but uh, there were times then it's basically coming upwards from the shady western side uh, so I wait until this little thing shows me something good. Let's go! Hello, Bella Monte! Adventure, what an epic finish! <laughs> Hi, little sweetheart. Wow, I'm so happy. I started from here four days ago and I arrived right back to the same location four days ago and I used my paraglider and my boot only or my feet actually so it was basically very adventurous and in the end I landed here in the parqueggio of Bella Monte so I will pack up my stuff soon and then go to meet my friends